Good morning. I hope you are doing well. All right, so to continue uh, on with the products that you guys received in your mystery box, I want to be able to show you guys how to use your white sculpture. So the beautiful thing about this gel is the consistency um, and the cure through, which is amazing. So what I always do with my students, especially the ones that are starting off with gel, I want to show you how to perform the smile line with the overlay first. And then what we can do is we could progress uh, to actually building out a free edge. Uh, we're going to take it in steps so that you have a really good understanding on how to work with it. I do recommend, um, again, working with um, a tile like this. If you guys don't have one, you can get a smooth tile. Um, that way, you'll be able to work off of a, a, you know, a flush palette. Let's go ahead and get... Um, I'm just gonna keep the nails that we constantly are working on. Um, for those of you guys that participated in the all about uh, the imagination art acrylic class yesterday, I really, really appreciate it. Um, there's a couple of techniques and I'm going to definitely be going over this week. Um, definitely going to be working on some sweater nail designs, um, as well as marble, uh, with gel so that you have a really good understanding, um, on what to do. Okay. So we're just going to work off of, off of this, off the natural nail, depending on the shape that you have, if your customer obviously has say a square shape, then, you know, obviously what you're going to do is go through and, and do your shaping, push, you know, push your cuticles back. And then what we need to do is we need to prep the surface of the natural nail. So again, at a very low speed, 3000 RPMs, what I want to be able to do is gently remove shine from the surface. So I'm just going to lightly tickle the shine away. Boom, right from corner to corner, just like that, right? So again, a feather, a feathering motion, <clears throat> working from corner to corner, boom. And then once we remove the shine from the surface, then what we're going to do is we're going to use swipe to come through, cleanse the surface of the natural nail, and then you know, obviously it's going to dry to a, a chalky surface on the natural nail, then what we want to be able to do is use protein bond all the way through. All right, so uh, come through, apply protein bond uh, twice, and then you're done. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be working with base gel. Okay, now this is, again... Uh, the technique to applying this is it's, it's, it's really easy. What you want to do is you want to be able to come through the body by pulling right a nice healthy amount and then tapping this off so that leaves you with, again, you can see on one side. You're going to notice that when I set the gel to the surface, I'm, I'm going to push. You see how it separates it pillows off to the edges. What I can do with the tip of my brush is get inside that pillow and then lightly push this as close to the cuticle and then down the sidewall. So what this is going to do, it's going to leave a nice kind of a nice bead, a column that's going to run down. What I'm focusing on is the perimeter. Right, so as if I'm getting in and I'm using the tip of the brush and really focusing on kind of sliding it, then it'll build a healthy perimeter around while leaving a nice even coat from cuticle to free edge all the way through. Okay, so once we're done doing that, I've got a really nice coat, you know, again, you know, coming through, making sure that everything is nice and even. <clears throat> and then what we want to be able to do at this point is go inside the light. Okay, All right. So I'm just going to set this again uh, for 60. It's an automatic timer. When the customer comes in, you're going to apply it to the other hand. Okay. So white sculpture. I just want to be able to show you guys um, the the consistency. Right. So if I'm if I'm going to squeeze this out, it has a very thick 
white consistency, right? It's very intense. Um, it's beautiful because it can be diluted. Um, it could be cut with, uh, with, with other colors. It can be mixed. It could be blended. Um, the reason why we have it in a tube is because of ease of application. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, here's the thing. Uh, for those of you guys that are learning how to do pink and whites, especially when you're working on um, a when you're working on a natural nail, and this is what I suggest for everybody that's beginning: is learn to build the body in reverse. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take concealer pink, and this is the same stuff that you got in again in your mystery box. And what we want to be able to do. And I'll show you a really great technique, but um, normally what I would do is just build the body. But what we can do is I'm just going to squeeze. You can see I'm just slightly squeezing out. So what I'll do is just I'll start my smile line here. And then as I'm squeezing this down and around all the way around the edge, right? So what I can do is I can kind of build up that wall, okay? Now, uh, the, the reason why I want to be able to do this is so that, like, if you decide, and this is, again, for everybody who's just starting, this is a great way of actually establishing uh, a nice wall to start. You could always take the tip of the brush and then push down and, and then just kind of slide everything up and around. And, again, it's it's all good if you're if you're just – kind of using the tip of the brush just to kind of slide it back, right? Just to kind of build up that that nice smile. You can see how I've done that. This is a great wall to start off with, all right? So if, if I do that and then I set it inside the light and then I use the low heat power mode right off the start, what that's going to do is it's going to freeze it into shape. Again, I don't have to worry about keeping it, keeping it inside the light for an extended period of time. I'm only going to keep it in for about 30 seconds. So what I'm doing is I'm establishing that smile. Now, normally when I'm working, I, I like to build this out. But for those of you guys that are starting, it's great to just kind of establish that smile. And then that way, like, you can continue to work. You could see that... You know, this is frozen. It's not going to move. Everything is in place. Then what I could do is I could use the pink and I can fill in the rest, right? So what I could do is I could take the concealer pink and then I could start at the cute. Oops, that's the white. Sorry. Got to read. Got to read my label. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pink and then I'll just like lightly start to squeeze up around the perimeter around the smile line is done. So what I'm going to do is use this and just lightly, lightly squeeze, squeeze, right? I don't have to go heavy all the way through, making sure that I'm going to build it right up again to the very, very edge of my smile line. And the reason why I want to be able to do that is so that we build this high enough so that the white is going to file out really, really well. Again, this doesn't matter. You'll notice like just the edges, like if it's off, what I could do is just use my brush just to come down. But what I'm, what I'm trying to do is just trying to guide this into perfection so that the wall, again, is going to look really, really even from side to side. And, and again, what, I'm, what I want you to do as you're practicing this is realize that we, we have to try to get this edge all the way out to the very, very edge just like that. Enough, enough buildup, right? And then again, I'm going to go back inside the light. I'm going to set it down. I'm going to go low heat power mode. Boom, low heat power mode, especially if I'm using the concealer paint and cure that out for a minimum. We're going to cure this out for a minimum again of 30 while um, I basically work on the other hand. So I'm not going to keep in wait. I'm going to rotate and I'm going to work out to the other hand so that we can continue to work. You can put your white on here and work off of, again, off of the tile, as you can see. And again, you're going to be using a very, very, what I call... Uh, floating motion where you're on the surface or you could squeeze it straight out of the tube, which I choose to do. 
Let's go ahead and do that. Now, here's the thing. If you want to make this even as possible, what, what I'm going to do is just use my, I'm just going to use my hand file just around that edge just to make sure that it's absolutely perfect. I'm going to go ahead and take, right, I'm going to take the white and I'm just going to lightly squeeze a nice healthy amount right up to that edge all the way up to this side here. And then again, just light. You're not trying to build this thing super, super thick. I need a, a, a just a, you can see how the nozzle is barely connected to the edge. And then once I actually have that completely on and through, done. You can see that it will self level into perfection. If I need a little bit more, again, very, very light amount, making sure that I have this. Now, the best part about this white is the cure through, right? So what we have to do, and you can see how everything is kind of self leveling. Uh, we used, we had white sculpture inside uh, the pot, which never self leveled to perfection, just like this. This is basically the best one that we've that we've had, especially when it comes to a super white gel. All right, now what we have to do once we're done with that, you can see that from the surface, we are going to get inside the light and we have to cure that for a full minute. Now, here's the thing. When, you are, when you're doing these overlays, especially when you're practicing on these tips, you have to remember that there's no clear underneath. I, there is a risk, obviously, of the plastic not getting through. So I didn't want to build it really, really thick because, again, the light's only going to be able to cure you know, so much all the way through. Um, we've, we've tested it and tried to get it as, you know, to, to cure out, you know, almost as, as thick as a nickel. Um, you know, we'll see. Normally when I'm actually doing any type of overlays, you have a little bit of transparency, obviously on the end of the nail, enough for the light to be able to pass. And then here's the thing. Uh, when you're actually doing a lot of overlays, you're doing them thin, you're not building them thick on the plastic. It's very hard for the light to transfer underneath. When you're doing sculpture nails, you're usually going to be building out um, a transparent free edge before you start to work on the ends. The light not only passes through the top, it's going to pass through the bottom as well. All right, so here we go. What we're going to do is, it's been a minute. Let's go ahead, right? And so I just, you know, double check to make sure it's pretty solid all the way through. I'm not going to be super aggressive on the file. Let's go ahead and wipe off this tacky layer. And then, you know, you'll notice again when I switch everything out. Let's go ahead and run my e file at. I don't have to go super. Aggressive, but let's just run the e-file around 8,000 RPMs. If I'm looking at the side profile, you're going to be able to see that I'm able to file up through that upper arch. And then as I start to come through, right, I, I, what I want, I want to be really gentle as I'm filing down and through the smile line. You can see how well everything actually starts to file out. So even here on the side, sorry, I got off screen. Here on the side, you can see the, little, the level of thickness. I want to be really gentle. I don't want to overfile. I don't want to overfile that white, then have it come off. But you can see when I start to file everything away, how sharp the smile line is going to be. So this is a great way to practice just achieving a level of perfection when it actually comes to doing your pink and white nails. I have enough bulk through the surface. I don't want to be over aggressive with this just because, you know, it's, it's on, it's on the plastic. So you can see what, what we've been able to achieve. Um, let me come through and just make sure that everything is going to be nice and even. So I usually take my hand file over the surface and then just lightly come through just to make sure that we've got great connection. You don't have to be super aggressive. All right, and then so you can see 
All right, you can see how nice the, the overlay ends up becoming. And, 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 and again, you know, what we're trying to accomplish, again, is a level of perfection when it actually comes to, to doing pink and white. So I didn't, I didn't have to, I'm just going to lightly kind of buff the surface to make it semi-smooth. Semi I'm using a coarse, the, the coarser buffer, right? Let me go ahead and wipe off that surface. And then what we'll do is we'll take uh, a little bit of protein bond just around kind of the edge and then through the body. Let me just go ahead and grab some finish. All right, and then you'll notice, you know, so for those of you guys that are practicing, right, for those of you guys who are practicing without that piece of glitter right there, because it definitely will show through. All right, you'll, you're going to notice when you're practicing your pink and whites, that, that like to be able to get it where the smile line is, is really, really sharp on the edges, that's, that's what we wanna be able to do, right? And that's, again, just again, building out the smile and allowing it. And what I did was, remember, I, I, I built out that edge and then I allowed it. But you can see that the, the, the white has a really good cure through and, and that's, what, that's what matters. Um, practice it, see what, you know, results you get with it. Again, when you're working on plastic, make sure you don't build it too thick because you don't want it to, um, not get a cure through all the way. Um, if you guys run into technical issues, hit me up. I'm always here to help. Uh, for those of you guys that were in my class yesterday, I'm going to be working on, um, some solutions with the designs that you needed. For those of you guys that are interested in upcoming classes, we have a shaping class on Monday. Get a hold of Ray Bracamontes at home office. Um, he's the man, the myth, the education coordinator. He'll be able to dial you guys in for future classes and get you sorted. Let me know if there's anything I could do to help. I hope this helps. I hope, hope you guys are enjoying all the products that you guys got in your box. It's overwhelming. You know, looking forward to continue this journey of nail education and helping you guys get to the next level. Appreciate you and I love you. Peace.